Corals are animals and they do need to eat. Um, thankfully, they're largely photosynthetic, so they derive a lot of the food that they require directly from the strong lights that we put on our aquariums. The algae that lives in the tissues of, of photosynthetic corals produces the sugars and carbohydrates that the corals need. However, that typically is not enough to sustain proper health and growth in corals. If you want to see your corals not only live, but grow and multiply, you're going to need to feed them. Uh, the best way to feed them is after the lights have been turned off at night, the corals go into predatory uh, mode where they put out their tentacles and they're trapping food particles that are in the water. That's the best time to feed. There's a ton of food products on the market. Any of them are, are sized for the corals to grab right out of the water column. I find it's best if you can, when you're feeding the water, to unplug a few of the pumps, mainly the main system pump, so that the food stays in the aquarium. You can keep your, your circulation pumps on that are inside the aquarium, but you don't want the food to be filtered out by your protein skimmer and your mechanical filter and your filter sump. So just keep like the Vortex or the Tunzies working in the aquarium itself. A lot of people shut everything off so they can directly target feed with a syringe some of the, uh, some of the more delicate corals. You can just use a turkey baster, mix up the coral food inside a container of water, and then using a syringe, you can just inject it right above the coral so the tentacles just get smothered and drowned in this food. Um, otherwise, you could put it directly into the water column and within five or 10 minutes, the polyps usually capture enough of the food so that you can turn the filter back on. But again, feeding the corals, same rules apply. You can overfeed. You don't have to feed every day. Usually two, three times a week is enough and you'll see much better coloration and health in the tissues of the corals if you feed versus not feeding. Having a lot of fish in the tank will also produce food for the fish as the fish release their waste and, and as they eat, the little bits of food will feed the corals indirectly. So having a, a, a delicately stocked aquarium, you don't want to overstock a reef aquarium, but having fish in the aquarium will benefit the corals because it will produce food for the corals as well. Music